Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today, we're going to be doing a walking tour of one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Philadelphia, PA, Strawberry Mansion. We're exiting the West Kensington neighborhood. We have to walk towards Strawberry Mansion. We're about a good 10, 15 minute walk from Strawberry Mansion. However, we're starting our walk here. We're on Susquehanna right now. Susquehanna Avenue, about to approach Marshall Street. We're a few blocks away from a military academy high school for high school students that is on lockdown. As you can hear, there's a chopper above us. There's a helicopter. The school was uh, locked down due to reports of somebody armed with a, a firearm. Walking towards that school right now, which is on Susquehanna Avenue. We're gonna pass it and then we're gonna walk our way towards Strawberry Mansion, which has the highest crime rate in the city. It's in North Philadelphia. Just this week alone, there were several shootings, three within a five day period, one where a couple was shot, a male and a female. Right now we're approaching 7th and Susquehanna. We're actually about a block away from where a pregnant woman was sitting in a vehicle with her uh, spouse and she was shot. We're coming up to 8th Street, 8th and Susquehanna. We have Franklin on our left. Now, Philadelphia was once given the nickname Philadelphia, And you know, we're in Pennsylvania, which they then coined Pistolvania. Crime has been running pretty rampant. About three days ago, after a high school football game in Roxboro, which is one of the the more calmer neighborhoods in Philadelphia. Roxboro is a pretty nice neighborhood located on the northwest corridor of Philadelphia. Well, there was a shooting right after a uh, a high school football game five students i believe were shot one of them lost his life he was 14 years old 14 years old yep and then they got the footage they got the footage of the whole entire thing going down them jumping out of the vehicle everybody in hoodies so they were just holding a memorial for him but he was only 14 years old it's crazy because like if you think about it, it was kids killing kids because the ones that, if you look at the security, you'll see that the footage, they was young too themselves. So I don't know if it was like high school um, pre-existing beef or if it was, I doubt it was something random because for four or five people to come out, I think it was five, I think it was five on five. Yeah, I think it was five came out, but I don't think it was specifically versus five. I think they shot at the crowd five were the one struck one passed away so i think that's uh pretty sad it's a sad case the 14 year old that passed away the 14 year old that passed away looked like um he was probably hispanic and like i said i was in a nicer area you would think that in a nicer area that wouldn't happen the corner we just passed by there were several shootings we're passing Del High Street we have a new construction on my right hand side another new construction on my left appears to be two of them 
924. 924 is the address. That would be 924 Susquehanna Avenue, Philadelphia, PA. You can Google that address and see what it's valued at. It's a brand new building. Just to see what they sold it for. Somebody's already living in it, but I guesstimate they probably sold it anywhere from the earth from the low 300s to probably like the mid 400s but it all depends because what's up, yo what's up bro um because it it all depends because we're pretty close to downtown down oh we got the chopper right above us y'all yeah because that school right up the block where we're about to pass that military school that was on lockdown but we're relatively close to downtown Philadelphia. We're close to Center City and City Hall and all that. Let me look up at the chopper. I don't know if you guys can see the chopper. See the chopper? And then there's a cop right here on my left-hand side. Station. And I think if the school is locked down, I think they'll probably have cops within like certain uh, perimeter points. This is about a block and a half away from the school where he's parked at on my left. You see? So he's about a block and a half from the school. We still got a few minutes before we hit Strawberry Mansion. Now, Strawberry Mansion is also home of several popular influencers, such as Meek Mill. And it's also where they shot Concrete Cowboys. It's a film. It's a pretty good film. They shot it here in North Philadelphia. It has some famous actors in it. It's a pretty cool movie. Shot in North Philly. Specifically in Starbury Mansion. Got a whole work site here. They're dropping buildings everywhere, left and right. Now what's interesting is, right now we're walking westbound. I didn't clarify that from the beginning, but we're walking westbound on Susquehanna. Behind me is eastbound, on my right is northbound, on my left is southbound, right? So, where we're walking to in North Philadelphia, not only is this military school located, but we're walking towards Temple University College campus. So Temple University is actually located in the hood. It's located in North Philly, like North Side, North Side. It's right in Central North, like right on the on the center borderline because it runs on Broad Street. As you can see, or you probably don't see on my left, there's a student, a college student. It's an Asian gentleman with a white hoodie, some glasses walking with like a little uh, thermostat and he has a backpack but they're students there's another student coming up over here which happens to be Asian also but the college is on my left hand side so you go about a block or two up on my left you start hitting the college campus but Temple University owns a lot of real estate up and down Broad Street Broad Street would be probably equivalent to like, um, like if you were um, playing Monopoly and you know how you had the different colors and the different, uh, I was real good at Monopoly. I, I don't know how many of y'all like playing Monopoly, but I was actually really good in it and I enjoyed it. I could go long hours with a couple people and like making everybody go bankrupt. But you know how they got different colors and the blue and the, gr and the green is towards the end where you pass go. That's like the best real estate. That's the most uh, return you get when you uh, rent it out, All right? So if you ask me, I would say Broad Street would be equivalent to Pennsylvania Avenue, or if not, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily consider it a Broadway Park Place. I would probably say more or less like JFK Boulevard would be like a Broadway Park Place. All right, y'all. So we're approaching the school. The military school is right here on my left. There's a bunch of police out here. There's a police presence. There's a news presence. 
there's a SWAT presence. SWAT team is out here. So SWAT was activated. That's how you know this was real. It's the Philadelphia Military Academy at Elverson. You have the 39 SEPTA bus that just passed by. School's located in a residential neighborhood. I think I hear uh, people screaming. Oh, people screaming. Your parents are upset probably because their children are in there and there was a gun scare. Wow, guys. So we're here. As you can see, right after the incident, the incident is still relatively fresh. You got Eyewitness News, Channel 3, CBSPhilly.com. You have their P2 HD, was that a Panasonic camera? Uh, it's, it's Canon, HD GC Canon. All right, let's cross the street. Let's continue to proceed with her journey towards Starving Mansion. Look, look like she's the reporter. And the gentleman that was uh, setting up his camera. So they still haven't let the kids out. That's what I just heard. They said they haven't let the kids out. So um, I think there's probably parents that's probably gonna be enraged that their uh, child is still in the building. You know how it is, I mean, if you're a parent, you would understand because something happened to your child, you you be there first thing, you know? First and foremost, your child comes first, family first. All right, so we're walking towards the intersection of Susquehanna and Park Ave. Still walking westbound on Susquehanna. This is that school over here on my left. And you can actually see Temple University campus from here. On the next block is Temple. Uh, real estate so. and the thing about this school is this school see that gentleman over there with the military uniform this school doesn't allow you to wear traditional clothes nor does it allow you to wear a traditional uniform that school actually requires you to wear a real military like setup like the jacket with the buttons with like the slacks with the shiny shoes like it's a straight up military school Located here in North Philly. Boys and girls. You got the three roosters food truck over here. I think food trucks are cool. Like a cool way to generate some income. Especially if cooking is your passion. Oh snap. They're on lockdown. She said they're not letting the kids out. Ooh, they're not letting the kids out, y'all. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard it from a local, from a native. All right, we're on Broad in Susquehanna. I'm about to cross Broad Street. This is the street that I said will be probably equivalent to like Pennsylvania Ave on Monopoly. It's a main route, main street, pretty popular. It takes you straight to Downtown, Center City, Philadelphia, or you could go uptown, Sheltonham. You could go northbound, southbound. I've documented Broad Street from top to bottom on several occasions. So we're gonna make a, a right. We're gonna walk by this uptown theater. They, they got this uptown theater over here on my right hand side. It looks like they're starting to bring it back to life. Like they're starting to revitalize it. So we're gonna go take a look at that, see what it looks like. I think if you own any real estate on this uh, particular block right here, you got good return as far as uh, what you can get back for it. This is this this is in place. Broad Street is in place of where 14th Street would have been. Philadelphia doesn't have a 14th Street. I don't know if you know that, but Philadelphia does not have a 14th Street. But if we would have had a 14th Street, it would have been here. Broad Street took place of 14th Street. So we got a 13th 
it jumps over 14 and then it starts again at 15. So that's how you know that this would have been 14th. See, I think that dude was the business owner, and the Asian gentleman, older gentleman. Got some graffiti over here too for all the graffiti viewers. People who appreciate Philly Graph. Philly is uh, pretty popular in the graph scene too. Check out this theater. So like I said, it looks like they might be revitalizing this. Because I drove by the other day and I saw the lights on. Look at Uptown. That's decent. That's decent, yeah. So I think that's cool. Like if they bring that theater back to life, I think that's going to be an awesome venue. I honestly prefer those older theaters. I think they look cool. I mean, you know, when you're young and you're a kid, you don't care. You want the newest, modern, most um, latest technology. But as you get older and you acquire specific tastes like fine wine, you begin to find that, you know, you're happy with the more simplistic things of life. <laughs> yeah. Look at the architecture on the buildings right there in the corner, Broad Street. Yeah, that's Broad and Dolphin. You see that? Broad and Dolphin. Look how big those buildings are. Definitely, uh, there's some Novacare rehabilitation on the first floor and then up top on the second and third. It's uh, offices and then more than likely apartments. But they got a dope ass uh, Alfonso Cannon Funeral Chapel right here. This thing is fire. Look at the front of that chapel. Look at this, this is the Philadelphia Electric Company. See the Philadelphia Electric Company? That's a nice building, but then you look at that right there. The marble they used in front of it, that marble looks awesome. It looks like it's probably like a foot thick, like giant marble cubes. You see it? That's pretty cool. And then they got a bank over here. This bank is dope. This bank was also nice. Not this right here on my left, but this is a nice building. Kappa Alpha PSI International Headquarters. Oh yeah, so since Temple University has real estate on Broad Street, there's a lot of frat houses and fraternities and stuff, Alpha, Beta, whatever you call those stuff, Alpha, Beta, Omega, <laughs> whatever you call that stuff. Uh, those frat houses, there's a lot of them around Broad, like Raw the Seas would be more and all that stuff. So that building right there is awesome. It's a bank. But a couple years ago, I believe they decided to repurpose the bank for, at first it was like a sneaker and clothing store. So they were trying to sell like Jordans, Nikes. Uh, Timberlands, they were trying to sell like high-end gear in, in that building. But then I think it went out of business. And right now it says uh, official unlimited department store. So again, they turned the bank into a department store. It's crazy though. You see how they graffitied up top? We got a Dunkin' Donuts right here. So right now we are on Broad Street traveling northbound. Passing York, right at the intersection of York and Broad. So we're passing uh, through the Glenwood neighborhood. You see that mural over there? It says Horace Pippin, 1888 through 1946. Wow, the domino players. It's a nice mural. Now, I've covered all of these neighborhoods, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're new to the channel, this is your very first time watching. I've captured this area more than a dozen times, walking and driving. I prefer driving because I'm able to cover more square miles and it's less effort on my behalf. Like I can casually just drive and chat versus walking. I gotta like physically put effort. I gotta, you know, I gotta get winded. <laughs> you know, you walk for an hour or two, you, you burn a calorie or two, you know? And I start sweating. Right now it's cool. The weather's nice. It's 65 degrees. So the weather's beautiful. Easy breezy, beautiful cover, girl. Yo, the weather's awesome. But I just don't want to sweat. So I'm trying to keep it chill. And I got long jeans on today. I normally I don't wear long jeans. And y'all already know. I got long jeans on. Look at that building, the Ruth Williams house. The Jean and Marlene Epstein building. That's in an auto zone. Now, I don't know about y'all state. I don't know what state can take credit for starting this, but I'm gonna tell you something. Auto zones 
got the best hood mechanics. Yo, they got the best hood mechanics because you can get it for the low and damn near every auto zone in Philly now has a mechanic. This one, the one on second and Lee High, the one in like North. Yeah, yeah. Tune, two on five. Tune, tune. All right, we're walking towards Cumberland. We're at the intersection of Broad and Cumberland. I used to love this shop right here on my left. The, the rim shop, it's called Wheel Thing. The reason why I used to like it, and I'm gonna tell y'all why, matter of fact, let's make a left here. The reason why I used to like it, maybe we could walk by the, uh, the casket. There's a casket over here. Yeah, in North Philadelphia. I think this is probably one of the only neighborhoods in America that has a casket on display in the hood. But um, I used to love going to this rim shop because that rim shop had the ability, and back then, I'm talking like in the 90s, like 1998, 1999, the year 2000, 2001. I, I remember that when my pop wanted to get rims, he would go there and they had a simulator. So you could tell him the year, make, model of your car and you can actually see what your car looked like with the rims, which in the 90s, well, it's pretty rare. And now with technology and Photoshop, you can pretty much get an idea of like what your car looks like with rims. And now I think online on Google, to be honest with you, there's a lot of websites nowadays that do that. But back then, that rim shop right there on Broad Street was one of the only ones that I knew that had that capability to, to do that. Pretty cool. So we're walking by a nice little warehouse on my right. Okay. We're approaching 15th Street. You see how we just came off of Broad Street and now we're on 15th? That's because Broad Street would have been 14th. Let's go to the next block. And then we're gonna walk by the post office and see the casket. Casket is located in the Glenwood neighborhood, right by Strawberry Mansion, North Side, North Philadelphia. Now, from a lifelong residence perspective, um, I didn't grow up in the 60s, 70s, 80s. I grew up in the 90s and the 2000s because I'm an 80s baby, right? So I can tell you that the north side of Philadelphia probably is the only area that still has the primitive thinking, like the hood mentality. South Philadelphia, I'm not saying South Philadelphia is not hood. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying a lot of it's cleaned up a lot through gentrification. And the same will probably work its way on towards West Philly. You know, areas are cleaning up and north is on the verge of that. It's going to take a little bit of time. But, you know, they started addressing neighborhoods down here like Ludlow. Uh, Northern Liberties, West Kensington, Hard Tramp. They're, they're slowly but surely starting to work their way to Fairhill, Hunting Park. Those are all north side neighborhoods, you know what I mean? And then this is on the east corridor of Broad Street. If you can talk about the west corridor, then you know, you got like Ogons and you got all those other uh, neighborhoods in uptown. Let's make this right here on 16th. We're at 16th in Cumberland. We're passing Kip North Philadelphia Academy on my right. Yeah, just uh, about 16 hours ago, there was a, a duo in Kinsessing that also uh, gunned someone down. This was within a 24 hour period. Check out that abandoned house. 2532, 2532 16th Street, 
Philadelphia, PA. You can check out the property value for that abandoned house. See what it goes for. Yo, check out that block, Mole, <laughs> Mole Street. Look how tiny that block is. Yeah, you can check out that property value. It's abandoned. I say it should still go for a good 30 piece. Easily still a good 30 piece, 20 to 30, depending on the plumbing and the structural stuff. You know, if there's any like uh, foundation issues, then that'll, that'll change the price, but for the most part, yeah. All right, so right now we're at the most popular post office. I'm sorry, that Pontiac had a loud muscle. Right now we're at 16th and, Hun and Huntington. Right now we're probably passing one of the most popular post offices in North Philadelphia. And this line be long. I don't know how it be in y'all city and y'all state, but here in Philly, man when you're waiting for a package there's like 30 people in front of you and then there'll only be like two tellers and then they take forever they go back there and they take like five ten minutes looking for each package you know what i mean so you got a line of 20 people continuously building up see that's the north philadelphia station it says it right there north philadelphia station The casket used to be across the street. I don't know if it's still across the street, but I'm gonna go check it out. And I've documented it in other videos. So if it's not here today, oops, my bad. You can look at it in one of my other videos. Oh no, it's still here. Yeah, thing here, this this thing been here for quite some time. This came out in a lot of little documentaries, a lot of little short videos. Yeah. This is uh something out of the norm you don't see this across america but come here to this part of north philly and you see a casket on display and no one takes it that uh signifies you know the possibilities of what could happen on the streets it's like a reminder it's a grim reminder to the harsh reality living in the concrete jungle we're approaching Lehigh. We're approaching uh, 16th and Lehigh. I'm making a left on Lehigh Avenue. I'm traveling westbound on Lehigh Avenue. They actually just paved all Lehigh. Lehigh is freshly paved, which is beautiful. It's hard to find freshly paved streets nowadays, but with gentrification comes new streets. <laughs> We're like three, four blocks away from the borderline. Once we actually get into it, then I'll let you guys know when we're in Strawberry Mansion. Strawberry Mansion was once a prominent neighborhood where the elite and the wealthy lived. There's an actual mansion that carries the name Strawberry Mansion. They were a strawberry farming family. They were wealthy. They owned a lot of land. Completely honest, I'll be honest with you. Uh, when you look at Philadelphia, you see how they section off all the different neighborhoods, like Strawberry Mansion, then Allegheny West, then uh, Point Breeze, and so on. You got the different neighborhoods sectioned out. If you took one of these neighborhoods and dropped it in the middle of nowhere, it would be its own town. For example, Germantown. That area is big enough to be considered its own town. Because I've been to towns. Yo, guys, this is amazing. Y'all not going to believe me if I tell you. I went to towns across America. You know, I traveled 48 states within 10 months, so I got a chance to see a lot of the country, right? Some of the towns that I went to, there was one town that had like a population of 68 people. There was another town, I swear, it had a population of like 34 people. There was a town with a population of like, like 60, 70 pe people. One with like 100 some people, one with like 200 people. We was gonna do some pretty small towns. Some of these neighborhoods here in Philly have 14,000 people, 
21,000 people, 9,000 people. You know what I mean? Oh, look at the beautiful uh, shot of the Comcast building. You see the Philadelphia skyline? That's beautiful. So we're gonna cross the street. We could keep walking straight on Lehigh to hit Strawberry Mansion, but we're gonna come from this side. There's an abandoned factory here that looks pretty cool. So we might as well just take advantage and go get a shot of it. Looks like somebody left all their belongings on the sidewalk. All the little birds out, tweet a tweet. Tweet a tweet, little birds. Don't forget to subscribe, little birdie birds. All right, right now we're on the borderline of two neighborhoods, the Glenwood neighborhood strawberry mansion neighborhood so when we get to this corner we're gonna make a right and we're gonna walk to a long block that i believe should still be closed it's an abandoned block but we'll use it as a gateway to get to strawberry mansion i figured i'd take you guys on like the scenic walk i could have just went straight through lehigh but what fun is that Got two story houses across the street. That porch is. A porch comes in handy when it's raining. You don't realize how precious a porch is until you don't got one. <laughs> I don't got one. Never had one growing up. My house was one of the ones that didn't have a porch. Some houses had porches, some didn't. Mine's did not. Um, the one with my pop. You know my pop raised me at? No, no porch. And then my mom, you know, my mom didn't raise me, but. I used to visit her throughout my younger years as she moved throughout the city. She's had several houses with porches. So whenever I would go visit her, I'd be in a porch house. <laughs> Look at those flowers. You can see that paint they put on the building. Got a bunch of debris. Remember I said this block is kind of abandoned. We gotta go over this overpass, which goes over a railroad. The railroad was once part of the freight transportation from the factory that's right there on my right hand side. You're gonna see the railroad and you're gonna see a pretty nice view of the city pretty soon. That's another reason why I like this little location. But it's abandoned, check it out. So if you come through here at night, just know, no cars are allowed on here. So if you're on foot, be on your P's and Q's. Look okay. it. They jumped somebody and took their baby. So, you know, <laughs> that's a bad joke. That's crazy though, right? Oh, look at Air Forces, fresh joints. Clean them Johns up and put them on stock X. Yo, that's three different size Air Forces, bro. Yo. Three different size Air Force. It looks like an adult Air Force, a woman's Air Force, or a child's Air Force, and an infant's Air Force. Yo, the sneaker resale market is incredibly outrageous. They sell sneakers for hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I 
and we don't see the view yet. Maybe it's because of the vegetation. This factory right here is abandoned. But I won't be surprised if they restore it soon. We're approaching 20th and Sedgley Ave. Let me see if I can give you guys a good view. Nope. Wow, look at that down there. Look at that people that go down there. You could tell because the ground has like a pathway where people walk. Look at the sidewalk. The sidewalk is gone. So every time I pass this area, my viewers enlighten me and tell me that this is where the old County Mac Stadium used to be at. It was before my time, so that's why I wasn't aware of there being a a stadium over here, but they said there was a stadium right here. Right here, where that big church is at, that big building in front of us. They said that there was a church, uh, a stadium, and I never knew that. I think it was like, what, 1970s or 1960s? I don't know. Or 80s? I don't know, but they said that this is where it was at. So every time I pass by in one of my videos, they go, yo, Tune, you forgot to mention the County Max Stadium. So... We're right here on 20th and Lehigh. So if you cross over Lehigh Avenue that way, keep walking forward, you'll be in the Allegheny West neighborhood, which is also known as, based on police crime stats, as a dangerous neighborhood. It makes the top 10 most dangerous list. The list um, varies from year to year. Number two might go up to number eight one year. Number 10, the third year, come back up to number four the following year, and it come back to number one, you know? So it fluctuates. Some of them stay in the top five for a long period of time, sadly enough to say. Now, not saying that crime doesn't run throughout the whole city, because it can happen anywhere, believe it. We've had instances where, in the most least expected scenario, least expected situation, you have ever think would, would happen, happen. And you go, wow, you were in the nicer part of town. For example, the incident with, with Roxborough. Roxborough's the nicer part of town. And those youngsters got shot. You know, it sucks. Oh, as a matter of fact, there was another report too of kids bringing guns to school. It was like a day or two ago. What was it? Teenagers? I think it was middle schoolers. They brought loaded magazines to school. Yeah, and they got them. Yep. So all, all within a week, we get in all the school situations related to firearms. It's the beginning of the school year. Still September, <laughs> it ain't even August, I mean, October yet, you know what I mean? So, it's crazy. All right, we're passing 21st. We're passing another school right here. On 21st and Lehigh Avenue. This is Dobbins. All right, when we get to the corner, we're gonna turn because I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of the Strawberry neighborhood. Like I said, I've covered this on many different days and different seasons, different times of day and different modes of transportation. So if you don't see all of Strawberry Mansion today, don't worry about it. Just look through the channel and you'll find other videos related to Strawberry Mansion. I try to do my best to show something a little different every time I come through, especially if I come through the same area more than once. Because sometimes people might want to see what the area looks like in a later date. I got some areas that are pretty popular that people want to see every single day. I just don't like focusing on one area. It looks too uh, repetitious. So I try to mix it up. But So we got a high school right here. A bunch of students out here. All right, we're approaching 22nd, 22nd and Lehigh. We're gonna make a left. As I said, if you go right, you'll be in the Allegheny West neighborhood. We're gonna go left.
This is a pretty big school. If you look at it, it's a huge building, right? One, two, three, four, five, six stories. Wonder if they use the uh, the roof for like recess. Mass Bomb High School uses their roof for recess, or I thought they used to use their roof, or, or not for recess, for um gym, for gym when they go to gym to to like stretch and all that stuff. I heard they should use the roof. All right, we're in Starway Mansion. Unfortunately, there's always shootings in this neighborhood on a regular basis. Right now, I believe to date, our count of bodies is around 360, roughly, if I'm correct. I could be overestimating, maybe underestimating. But if you have the exact Philadelphia count of bodies as of the date this was dropped, let me know. But I know last year, unfortunately, I think we hit the 500 mark too, right? Lately, we've been hitting... Wow, look at that kid shape up. That kid shape up is sharp. Wow. So sharp that I'm gonna go through this block. Yeah, that kid shape up was super sharp. It welcomed me to the block and then the flags welcomed me. Look at the flags. Oh snap, they got their own parking. Yo, this is the first neighborhood I've ever seen that incorporated in here. I saw that in different areas of the country. When I was traveling, I saw that in different areas, but I think that's smart. I mean, it sucks for the big cars. For example, like if you got a big, super long car, it might take up two slots. For example, like um, an excursion, a suburban, even classic cars. Some classic cars are really long, Cadillac DeVille's. Like I used to have a 1973 Dodge Polara, four door sedan. That thing was enormous, bro. That shit was like two pickup trucks. <laughs> it was. Yo, it was so long, but it was built like a tank. They don't make them like they used to. They don't make them like they used to, yo. I mean, I guess, yo, what's up? What's up, OG? Now the cars are fiberglass, plastic. I guess that's a good thing though, because it's better on the fuel economy. It's a lighter vehicle, but it just sucks. heavier metal meant more protection but it also meant burning more fuel and then the cars were a little bit more sluggish back then if you think about cars cars didn't go that fast they went like 85 like the top speeds if you look at the odometers from like the old school cars they go like 55 60. i think mines i think my 1973 polar i think it says 75 was like the highest or something i, I don't recall but yeah Crazy, right? You gotta keep in mind that this came from the horse days, the horse carriage days. So they used to go 15, 20 miles an hour. So to go 60, 70, 80, that was extreme progress. Oh wow, look at this, a Google Street View vehicle right here. Doing virtual uh, documentation of the neighborhood for Google. Wow, that's pretty cool with California tags. Parked over here in North Philadelphia. There's one of those parked in Hunting Park too. I wonder if it's the same one. I drove by Hunting Park around like 9th Street, 9th and Erie, and I saw that. And I was like, yo, and it was parked there for like a week or two. So I don't know if this is the same one or if it's a different one. Uh, let's make this uh, left. We're just randomly walking. Quite honestly, I have to use the lavatory. But I'm nowhere near one. I can opt out and go for one of these alleys. Hey, but we're mid-door. I think that'll probably be distasteful. But when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear like... Y'all gonna... <laughs> gonna hear the fountain. Seriously, I'm definitely about to go bust leak so I can travel efficiently because I still got a lot more traveling to do unless I find a handy dandy porter potty there's like a mirage that comes out of nowhere 
no, not a lot of the time. When people do these dangerous neighborhood videos, people in the comments, they go, yo, but I don't see nothing, ain't nothing going on. It's not dangerous. You gotta understand. It's kind of like what PNB Rock said, rest in peace to PNB Rock. He said, in one of his interviews, he said, Philly goons, they sneaky goons. LA goons, they brawl, they out there in the open. The Philly goons, they premeditate <laughs> stuff. Like, I think that's like where he was getting at. Like, you know, like they're more sneaky and thoughtful. Well, here in Philly, it's the same thing. They're not gonna be out in the open, walking in the middle of daylight. You're gonna be capturing a video and you're gonna capture a whole scene. Nah, it doesn't go down like that, but you know, I mean, I'm not gonna say you won't accidentally probably come across something. It, it'll, it'll vary from event to event. I think you have a better chance of probably catching something like that when you're in a car than when you're on foot. Because when you're in a car, you can be at more places at once. So you don't know when the shooting's gonna be. You're on foot, you probably, A, either never make it to the shooting, or B, <laughs> with your luck, or bad luck, be stuck in the middle of it and get caught up in the crossfire, so, yeah. But that's like what a reporter does. Like those reporters that go out to like the Middle East and all that, they're in war zones and there's people shooting and missiles and they're documenting that stuff. Taking one for the team, you know what I mean? All right, we're approaching Haggart. Haggart Street. All right, we have the 2400 block of Haggard to our right, 2300 block of Haggard to our left hand side. I still hear the choppers flying around. I wonder if they let those kids out of the school yet. I'm sure that'll be on the news later. More details. Because if they locked them in, it must've been, I don't know if it was an active shooter situation. I don't know if it was a parent or what. Yeah, this is the same neighborhood where a couple was found shot in the head. Yup, in their car, an SUV, not not far from here, three, four blocks away, middle of daytime. And they said that people were walking by for a couple of days, and they didn't think nothing of it. They always saw the car. They didn't realize that they were deceased. All right, we're on 24th, walking towards Sedgley. There's a porta potty right there. What I'm gonna do, take y'all in the porta potty with me? <laughs> First time in YouTube history, YouTuber takes the number one while his audience listens. How do you like that for ASMR? <laughs> Yo. Interesting structure, right?
Bro, I have to go, so I'm sorry, guys. I was holding this for a really long time, and I hate to say it, but I'm peeing on YouTube history. <laughs> I had to go bad. It was either that or pee on myself. I'll tell you something. I'm relieved in a mofo, though. Only in the hood. Only on a hood vlog. Only on one of these hood walks, man. You see Tune take a leak. Listen, I got a long walk back. Ain't no way in the world I'm holding that. Damn, look at this rim right here. This rim is mangled. Nice bike, mangled rim. They gave people tickets. Check it out. Look like they got a one, a two, a three tickets. <laughs> We're approaching 25th Street. Now I can keep walking in towards uh, 33rd and whatnot. I've covered that area many times before. I'm walking over here. I'm just gonna give it one more block because I know they got the horse uh, kennel around here where they keep the horses, where they shot the movie uh, Concrete Cowboys that was on Netflix. And we mentioned that earlier. So I could walk by there, see if they got the horses out. Yeah, they got horses in the hood. Yeah, we got cowboys in the hood. I right, we're on 25th and Sedgley Ave. 25th and Sedgley Ave. Yeah, I think we're right here next next to the horse kennel. Do you call it a kennel? What is it called? A horse barn? Horse stable? There you go, stable. Almost tripped. You heard me? I said stable. <laughs> yeah, they, they normally have horses out here. I don't know. I haven't been here in quite some time. But this is where they shot the movie. So if you watch the movie Concrete Cowboys, this is the block they shot it on. A high percentage of the movie took place there. Next block. Yeah, I think I see a horse. Oh, I see chickens and roosters. I don't see no horses. Normally they have them here. Normally this is where the horses are, unless they're inside. They used to keep them across the street, too. Oh, see, they got like a little, like a little goat. Yo, they got a goat out here, bro. They got a goat. Yo, that's crazy. Goat in the hood. Man, they got two goats. Hopefully that John will come and try to tackle me. <laughs> Are they the ones? Oh, no, no, that's the ram. The ram be trying to hit you, right? Oh, they got roosters over here. Chickens, roosters. Oh, what's up, young boy? Yeah, rooster in the hood. Yeah, look at them dudes. Yeah, they just chilling. So I feel like they made this whole new construction over here. You see this construction? It's all new. What's up, G? What's up, sir? I'm doing a virtual tour. I document all of Philly. We got over 500 tours covering all different neighborhoods in Philly. Which you yeah. online or something? Yeah, yeah, YouTube. You want to check me out? Yeah. On YouTube. Is it YouTube? Yeah. Tune. 
I actually just traveled the whole country. I did all 48 states. 10 months. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. But I, I asked, like, I see you, I mean, you doing your shit. Yeah, man. yeah. That's what's up, bro. I ain't gonna stop you with the doing your Yeah. Shit. Stay blessed, bro. Yeah, so right now we're on the famous Fletcher Street. That's the name of the street, it's Fletcher Street. And the name of the Cowboys, they had the nickname Fletcher Street Cowboys. There's a pretty cool, uh, like, a, like a church. I don't know if this is like a synagogue or if this is like, a, I don't know what this is, but it's a cool looking church building. We're gonna pass. I don't think it's a synagogue because it has a cross. I don't think synagogues have crosses. But they got um, a nice building over here. We're gonna walk by. You see it? It looks nice. It looks almost like a capital style building, like a presidential style building. Yeah, so that block right there where the gentleman came and talked to me at, that's the block where they shot the film. And that's like, those are the main people. I, like, I won't be surprised if they're his folks. You know what I mean? They're probably his folks. That's a uh, school right there. Check it out. Richard R. Wright Public School. <laughs> Richard R. Wright. Get it? All right. <laughs> Rich, you all right? Richard R. Wright. All right. So we're not far from, there's an abandoned checkers not too far from here i know we're coming close to our hour mark i try to keep these tours at one hour long for file management and viewer retention purposes very rarely do i let them go over and very rarely do i let them go under i try to keep a high percentage of them at around an hour so i don't think we're going to be able to capture any more within this time period but at least you guys got a chance to see some breaking stuff that was happening at the moment y'all got a chance to see a little bit of uh Strawberry Mansion, a little bit of the north side. Y'all had a chance to check out our infamous casket that's on display. It's made plenty of uh, blogs and just in general. It's one of those eerie things you don't see too often. And now we're at Strawberry Mansion. We're on 28th Street. We have Gibson Temple Baptist Church. Oh, here you go. So it's a Baptist church. It's the Gibson Temple Baptist Church. Nice church. All right, we're on 28th and Susquehanna. To think that we started off at Susquehanna. You remember, remember? We started off at Susquehanna. That's where we started our walk. Uh, no, we didn't. We were like a block away from Susquehanna. A block or two, because, yeah, I think we started like a block or two away from Susquehanna. No, we no, we started on Susquehanna, didn't we? Yeah, we started on Susquehanna. I forgot. <laughs> We're passing Newkirk, Newkirk, and Susquehanna. We're not far from Strawberry Mansion, too. The, the high school. There's a high school also with the name Strawberry Mansion, which happens to be one of the more troubled uh, schools. I know growing up, that was one of the um, schools that got into a lot of fights, a lot of issues. I don't know what it's like in 2022. Haven't been to high school in psh, almost 20 years, right? I was class of 06 when, yeah, and, and, and four more years, I'll be able to say in 20 years. Wow, that's scary. Time flies, right? Time flies as you get older. Check out these garages. It's pretty cool, right? White picket fence in the hood. We're on 29th in Susquehanna. We have the 49 bus on our right-hand side here at the intersection of 29th and Susquehanna. I'm gonna make a right and travel northbound on 29th Street. We're approaching Fletcher. 